Welcome, guys. Um, my name is Matt with IFA Country Stores, and today we're talking about beginning beekeeping. So we're going to go over some of the basics, how you guys are going to get started in beekeeping, uh, the equipment you're going to wear, the safety equipment. We're going to talk about the bees. We're going to talk about the hive components and some of the tools and basic functions of beekeeping. Uh, to get started with safety equipment, first and foremost, we need to be safe when we're checking bees. Beekeeping is a very fun hobby, but when you start getting stung, it quickly turns to not as much fun. So uh, we have a couple options here for safety equipment. Uh, the first option, the one that I use, is a full body suit. Now this covers from the head all the way to the ankles, all the way to the wrists. To keep the bees off your body, keeps them a little bit further away so they can't sting into, your, into you. Uh, the other option we have is a jacket. This only goes to the waist, also a great option. Just make sure you don't have anything on your belt to allow that jacket to lift up and you let bees have access in there. Uh, but this works great as well. Now, when we're getting into a hive, the most vulnerable part of us will be our hands because we are in that hive, physically moving around with the bees, uh, and that's where we get a lot of stings. So we wear these beekeeping gloves. They are made full leather on the hand. These specific gloves have some venting in the wrists and then a fabric piece that goes all the way to the elbow. That will give you your forearm complete protection or double layer of protection with your suit or your jacket underneath it. Uh, very comfortable to wear, uh, real easy to grip frames and, and do everything you need to do with those on as well. Uh, talking about the bees, we have two varieties of bees that we sell. We sell Italians and we sell Carnolians. Uh, the Italians are going to be your standard honeybee that you think of when you think of honeybees. They're the black and yellow striped bee. Uh, great honey producers, they make up a large majority of the uh, honey producing bees in the United States. The carnolian bees will be a black bee uh, or a darker colored bee. Uh, also good honey producers. Uh, there's a few differences between how they overwinter. Uh, nothing that will change your management on them. Uh, but pick between the two, take one of each, whatever you prefer. Talking about how to order bees. So there are two methods that bees get delivered to us. One is a three pound package. In here, we'll have the queen in this queen cage inside. We've got a feeder can. You'll have three pounds of bees. They typically will hang in a U-shape, something like that. Uh, you'll have a larger number of bees in this three pound package than you will in a five frame nook. Uh, but this is usually starting out with either brand new frames or if you've already got frames that have wax comb drawn out on it, you can put them in there as well, give them a faster start. Our second method to order bees will be in a five frame nook. Uh, similar box to this, you'll have five frames in here. Now, these frames will already be drawn out with wax. You'll have bees covering each of those frames. The queen will be actively laying in there. So you'll have honey, pollen, eggs, brood, and larva, all stages of bee life in here. Uh, your bees will already be hatching out here as well. So this population is going to be growing. This population for the package will actually decrease a little bit after you install them and then take off again and increase. Uh, once those cells are drawn out, the queen starts laying and you get that production going again. So you will see a decrease in population here after installation. Within a couple weeks after installation, the number of bees in the hive will start to decrease before the eggs start hatching and the hive starts to grow again. Whereas this nook will already be on the growth phase. So you're about a month ahead with the nook than you are with the package. Now, before you get your bees, you should have your equipment set up. What you'll need will be a setup similar to what we have here. We do have these in these Harvest Lane Honey uh, one box complete kits, uh, beginner kits. So let's go through what's, what we find in here. First off, we have the telescoping cover. This goes over the top, telescopes over the sides to protect the top of the, the hive, keep the weather out, the rain, the wind, all of that. Uh, we have an inner cover that goes inside that telescoping cover. Uh, we'll talk about the purpose of this in a little bit. And then we have the frames. We have a feeder and a deep box with a solid bottom board. This is called an entrance reducer. Uh, this does have two different size uh, reducing spaces to it. We have the small one, we have a larger one. 
Now when we're installing a three pound package, we're gonna put that on a small reducer here because it's only gonna take two bees to block the entire entrance off. The rest of the bees can focus on building up the wax cells and drawing the comb out. If we're installing a five frame nook, or by the time this package grows about five frames, we're gonna rotate that so that we have the larger opening, allowing more bees in and out at the same time. It's gonna take a few more bees to protect the hive, but the hive is growing at that point and they can do that. So these are the items we have inside here. Uh, some of the tools we're gonna to use will be the smoker. Uh, we have some smoker pellets. You can use virtually anything that'll give you a, a cool smoke, steady cool smoke. Um, we use the smoke to help calm the bees. Bees communicate through pheromones. With that smoke uh, puffed through the hive, that's gonna help mask those pheromones so they're not gonna be as active. Um, it does calm them down overall, just kind of soothes the bees. They'll, they'll be a lot easier to work once you smoke the hive. Uh, we have a hive tool. Uh, here we have a bee brush. Uh, this is a soft bristle bee brush. Really easy to use to brush bees off of you, brush bees off the equipment if you need to get bees off of it. Won't harm the bees. Your hive tool you're going to use to break the hive apart. Bees will use what's called propolis, which is a mixture of pollen, honey, uh, nectar, tree sap, a mixture of a whole bunch of stuff, and it, they put it all together and it becomes a really good hard glue. And so they'll glue everything the way they want it in the hive. Uh, that way it just will help winterize it or weatherproof it so that the wind isn't getting in, keeps moisture out, um, keeps things in place. Now, uh, that takes us back to this inner cover. Remember I said that this telescoping cover hangs over the sides. As the bees glue everything together, they also glue the lid on. Okay. With the inner cover in place is a flat board that sits on top of the hive. We can use our hive tool to go in between the inner cover and the box and pry that up and break that seal. Whereas if the telescoping cover is hanging over the side of this box, we can't get the hive tool in there. So that's what we use the inner cover for. Uh, we do have some bee feed up here. I'll explain a little bit about this. Our fat bee uh, sweet feed here has fructose as well as sucrose mixed in it. Um, it gives the bees a better feed, keeps them healthier, fatter. They tend to work better without being as, as uh, jittery. Basically higher production is what we find with this feed. Uh, then we also have up here some probiotic, straight probiotic. Again, it's already mixed in here. Um, I use the probiotic to spray the bees down when they're agitated. Uh, when I get in a hive and they're really uh, kind of ornery, I spray them down with that. It helps their gut health, calms them down a lot. Um, the probiotic spray, using as a spray and using the smoker can kind of be used interchangeably depending on the season and what we're trying to do with the bees to help them out. Now that we've got our bees ordered, you've chosen Italians, you've chosen Carnolian, you've chosen which method you have, it's time to install the bees. So I recommend having all this set up so that when you get home with your package or your nook, you're ready to do the install. There's no delay there, you're set ready to go. So uh, let's start with the package. When we're installing a package, we're gonna take out a few frames here in the middle and set these aside. We're gonna open up a jar, uh, jug of syrup. We're gonna pour it inside the feeder. This feeder has openings on either end. So just pull the, pour the syrup down in there. It's gonna fill that up. The bees can walk down these uh, grates here to access the feed uh, to whatever level it's at, all the way to the very bottom of the, of the feeder there. So when we're ready to install our package, we should have your hive set up such as this. We have our entrance reducer here with the small opening in front, feeder full of syrup, and our hive, or our package here. So again, if you wanna wear protective gear at this point, I recommend it. Uh, some people don't, that's up to you. Uh, but I do recommend wearing protective gear when I'm doing an installation. So the first thing we're gonna do uh, is we've got our package here. 
first thing we gotta do is we gotta get this queen cage out of the package and into the hive. So you can do this with or without spray. I will take a probiotic in the sprayer and just spray the sides of the bees down through the screen. By getting them a little wet, it keeps them, uh, they're focused more on cleaning themselves. They can't fly as well because they're wet and it just kind of helps calm them down. So we need our hive tool here. Uh, the queen cage does have a tab hanging out the top. So what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna give it a nice little wrap to drop the bees down. We're gonna lift this can up and pull the queen cage out and put this back in. Now, we will have some bees that get out. We'll have some bees that are out here working outside the, the uh, queen cage and that's perfectly fine. But we've got the majority of the bees contained here in the package. Now I'm gonna look in here, make sure my queen's moving around. If she's not moving around, give us a call. Let's get you another queen. Uh, but we need to make sure she is alive and doing well, okay? Check the end of it, make sure this will either have a candy plug or it's gonna have a cork or a piece of tape over it. Um, however that works, just make sure that we can pop that cork out. If there's no candy plug in there, we wanna make sure we have a mini marshmallow that we can squish up. Pull that cork and put the mini marshmallow in, but it is important to make sure that queen stays inside this cage. We do not want her flying out and taking off because uh, then we have to hope that she comes back to this location. Uh, it just creates more potential problems. So mostly you should have a candy plug in here already. Pop the cork out the end of it. With this, we're gonna take this on a new frame. I'm gonna put the cage hanging downward in about a 45 degree angle, pointing towards the back of the hive. Uh, the tab should be long enough to bend over the top. If it's not, you can use a rubber band to put around it. Or uh, if you have wax already on your frames, you can squish it in the wax. Uh, we do put it on a 45 degree angle down because if for any reason the top gets taken off, it's raining, any moisture gets in there, that doesn't get caught up in this and drown your queen, okay? So we're gonna put that on a 45 degree angle there, band her in, then we're gonna put that frame back inside right here next to the other frame. All right, by this point, your bees will have gathered back up around the can. We're gonna give it another, not hard, but firm tap just to get those bees to drop down to the bottom again. Pull this can out. And then at this point, we can tip this over and start pouring your bees out. Give me a little tap to get all the bees out of it, down into that vacant space here. Once we're done with pouring the bees in, we have the large majority of the bees out of this package into the hive. I'm gonna take these frames and just softly set them in. They will usually stop just a little bit before they hit the bottom because the bees are piled up underneath there. Don't force it, just let it go. It'll vibrate down into place. But place the frames back in here one at a time. Uh, if you notice, those bees will quickly come up around that queen and congregate around her there. Uh, when I'm done, I'll make sure and pop hold here, pour all my syrup in here. No sense in wasting good feed. And then set my package with the opening off to the side pointing towards the front of my hive. That way, as the bees are trying to figure out where to go when they come out of there, uh, they'll be able to catch pheromone from the queen that the other bees will be fanning out of here and they'll get moved in there. So that's how we install a three pound package. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, if you have questions, please call your local IFA country store. Uh, we'll be able to walk you through that process. Our five frame nook for installation is even easier. So for to install a five frame nook, I'm going to pull five of these frames out because I don't need those at this point. So I've got a feeder and three or four frames depending on how much space I have in my hive. Now installing a five frame nook uh, when I mentioned with a three pound package, I mentioned wearing protective gear is up to you, right? Uh, a five frame nook is completely different. This is an active hive. 
Okay, the bees do have uh, pollen and honey stores. They have their young, their larvae, and their brood to protect. So they are going to be more protective of this than they will of this package. So suit up, wear protective gear, wear gloves. Uh, when I'm getting ready to install this, there is an opening or front to this hive. So let me make sure that's pointing towards the front of my hive, like so. I'll pull these extra three frames out and set them off to the side over here. Okay, when I open this hive up, I've got the five frames. Mentally, I'm gonna number them, one, two, three, four, and five, working from right to left. When they go into my hive, I need to make sure going from right to left, they're still in that same order, one, two, three, four, five, okay? So these will probably be glued together. We're gonna use our hive tool. We're gonna put it in on an angle here and twist and twist to pry that apart and then lift that frame up. We're gonna move it right over and put it in in the same position or same direction in this. We'll go through the next frame, separate it and put it right in. And we wanna to continue to do that with all five frames to make sure they're in this hive the same order they were in the five frame nook, okay? Now one thing you'll notice, if I reach in quick with a hive, they're gonna, the bees are gonna come out and clobber all over my hands because that's an aggressive move toward them. You'll learn moving slow and steady is much better when you're working with bees. Feel free to check these out uh, when you're switching them over. Once I've got all five frames in here, then I'm gonna take these empty frames and put them back in on the edge. Okay, when that's in place, we'll put our inner cover back on, our top cover, telescoping top cover, back on, or just install the five frame nook. We do want to have the larger opening in place. And I'm gonna do the same with this box that I did with the three pound package. I'm gonna put this on an angle off to the side so those bees, when they come out, will be attracted to that pheromone being blown out the front, uh, the queen. So that's how we install a five frame nook. Again, very simple. Uh, if you have any questions, please call your local IFA country store, talk to their beekeeping uh, expert in the store, and they'll be able to help you out with that.